to say this, but uh, I have a new album coming out. And, uh, these things take lots of time and lots of money, and it's uh, it's a joy to say that. Unfortunately, it's not out in time for this show. Uh, I signed off the, the masters of the tracks only on Thursday, and uh, so it's not out until late May, early June. And uh, the album is called Days of Shaking, and it's a kind of, I wouldn't say it's a sequel to Clifton, but it kind of carries on some of the themes. It's still very suburban in its environment, but it explores magical thinking and by that I mean sort of uh, well I suppose I read a book once and uh, it said that humans are the only creature on the planet that have fiction and uh, that really interested me so magical thinking is can be very big and very small at the same time so you know it's the narratives that we put to our lives but also some of those sort of fantastical things we inject into every day you know like uh, I don't know, folk tales or myth or superstition. So it's a real range of things. And um, I'm going to sing you the title track now. And it was kind of inspired by when I was really young. I think I thought I saw a UFO. And I can't remember now. Who knows? <laughs> I was very young. Clearly, what UFOs are doing above South End, I have no idea. <laughs> but then it kind of, and then it sort of, a few years later, I remember as a teenager watching um, the, the, the news about the Heaven's Gate cult, if anyone remembers that from 1997. And I was quite a young teenager, I think, I can't remember how old I was. And, uh, and it just sort of, it, I found that very strange that, um, that people would uh, believe in something so intensely and, and so fantastically. But anyway, I won't go too deep into it. I'll let the song speak for itself. This is Days of Shame. Blind to our sin. 
bark covered in Christmas lights. I want something I can't find. Drive around dark tunnels searching. Thank you.